I'll sit around you. Any council reports? Mayor, I would like to <laughs> Mayor, I would like, just like to point out that in all probability this will be Council Member Hogg's and Mayor Sal's last official council meeting. I'll talk about Leon just a bit first. Leon has dedicated years and years of public service. I believe it's over 40 years between the Parks Board and serving on council on self softball involvement. 42. I knew it was over 40 years. And I think we need to show our appreciation for Leon and all of the service that he's given to the city. everything in this community as we look around. She's just an awesome lady, the greatest ambassador that you could have ever, ever, ever asked for. She'll stay here, we'll, we'll make sure she stays active in our community. Even if she tries to pull away, we are not going to allow it because she's <laughs> way too valuable to all of us. Mary Lib also served on council for three years prior to being elected mayor and um, she served as mayor for eight, 21 years, excuse me, 21 years. And as I pointed out last night, it's kind of hard to believe. One of the reasons this election is so important, since 1975, this will only be the third mayor the city of Eulis has ever elected, uh, since 1975 elected. So thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. We love you. garden or maybe cleaning a closet or maybe even doing some stuff at the church. <laughs> Mayor, you're not getting away yet. I'm not getting away yet. I, I, I was next to see. Oh, will you? <laughs> you get the last word. Okay, last word, Mr. Stenson. I've had the good fortune of being up here, first with Leon to my left, especially when I first started, and how I started doing things wrong. You all see him right over here? That's him writing notes for me saying those <laughs> and he's been a great value to me, and hopefully I'll be able to help out whoever takes his place by using this notepad over here and sliding things this way. <laughs> as far as Mary Liv, she reminds me a lot of my mother. My mother was a great lady, always could be very, very firm, but always a great lady. She also tried to get me to eat weird vegetables, just like Mary Liv does. <laughs> she had no better luck at it than uh. Mary Liv. <laughs> I feel very fortunate to have served with Mary Lib, but more importantly, I feel very fortunate to call both Mary Lib and Leon friends. Thank you. Thank you. You want to talk to him too? Of course. You know, I always do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Well, I, I'm the, as y'all remind me all the time, I'm the pup up here. So you remind us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I look back on, on my life here in this city, and in this building I played basketball. In this building, I was here the first day it opened as a young seven-year-old young man. Um, and in that time, City of Ulysses has changed a lot. Uh, we Main Street goes past the creek now. Um, Harwood Junior High is there now. Um, yeah, so many things that's occurred at the airport and built and, and expanding as we heard tonight some great things. Uh, airport freeway is being built. I played in the dirt on airport freeway is being built. Um, and I reflect on some things that you and Mr. Hogg have done uh, and to think that this city has came so far with some visionaries. Uh, and I challenge uh, those who may try to replace the, the two of you to uh, do one tenth of what y'all have done in their careers, sitting on his council. So, Mayor, Mr. Hogg, I appreciate everything you've done as a young man and 
now the father and grandfather. Mm. Uh, and, well, not quite. Not as a great grandfather, not quite. Uh, but uh, you know, I have a, a, a lady in the, in the audience, my wife. She appreciates you too. And there's some other men in this audience that know me back when I was a kid too, and they appreciate both of these, what both of y'all have done. And so I just want to say thank you. Appreciate it.